In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create neon lights uh, countdown timer in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will start the countdown timer. You can see here the neon lights. And then the actual slide begins. So this is very fast. You can set the time according to your requirement. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the slide background to black. Then go to insert, add a text box and I'm going to type number one and change the font color to white and the font I'm going to change to impact or any other font which you like and the size I'm going to make it 200. You can see here and then go to format, align center, align middle and then i'm going to give a text outline of any color i'm just selecting aqua here and text fill make it no fill here and then i'm going to give a small glow effect for that right mouse click go to format shape then you have got two options here shape options and text options so this is the text so i'm going to select the text options and under text options go to text effects and then there's something called glow and you can just select whichever color you like. For example, let me just select this. So you can see here, this is already a glow effect. And then I'm going to add some lines and give the same glow effect there. Now to add the neon lights, let me just zoom it so that it is visible. And go to insert shapes and from lines, select this free form shape. And then I want a uh, three, four different neon lines. So first I want to start from here. I'll select this point, then this one, then till this part here, and then I'll just double click here. So you can see here, there's one blue line added, and then I have to go to the shape options and then effect. And I want to give some different green color or blue or different color. So let me just select this first, this glow the same blue but I'm going to change it to say uh, orange or some other colors also you can say for example green and this shape outline also I have to select it green and then right mouse click edit points as you can see here this is not properly aligned so I'm selecting this particular black point and you can see the small white square i'll just drag this inside and this also i'll select and drag this inside so you can see here this one neon line has been uh, light has been added and you have to just make sure that the color also it's blue uh, sorry the green if not we have to just change the color and you can increase the size also you can see here you can increase the size it's showing green and then i'm just going to add some more again go to shapes I'm going to select free form here. If you want, you can make it outside also, not a problem. So for example, I want one line till here, till here, double click. And this one shape outline, I'm going to give say orange and here effects go to glow. You can select any color and later on you can change this color to orange. You can see here it becomes orange now. And if you want more lines, you can just add more lines to it. Let me just add one more line here. Shapes again, free form. And I will just add from here till here. Double click. And then again, this this time I want to give, say, this uh, pink. And here also I'm just going to select the effects. I'll select any color. And then from here I'm going to select pink. So you can see here I've used three different colors green orange and pink now once it's done we need to give some animation effect to it now to give the animation let me just close this go to animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the text which is number one and go to add animations under more emphasis or you can just select this pearls here so it comes a uh, little pearls effect double click you can give the timing very fast, fast or how you want. You can just select and then I'm starting with green. I'll select the green line. Then I'm going to add animation. I will just say wipe effect. You can see here wipe effect. I will say 
from left so it comes something like this and this should happen after previous or you can set with previous also and then i'll select this green line animation painter i'll click on the orange line and this one i will say from top it comes something like this this should happen with previous and then again with animation painter i'm just going to select this and this i will say again from bottom and this should also happen with previous so let me just play here so it comes something like this you can see here if you want you can make it after previous or depending on your requirement now i have to make uh, the number of slides so for that i'll just select this right mouse click and duplicate slide and this number i'm um, from one i'm going to change to two you can see here and then whatever these lines you can reuse these lines you can see here if i want if you want to reuse this line for example i want to use this the number two the green line and then i can just increase the size right mouse click edit points and then you can just adjust it something like this you can see here you can adjust it and this one i'll just bring it here and move a little bit so you can see here i have added till two this one and then again this orange light you can just tilt it and you can put it here you can see here again edit points you can select this and delete the point so you can see here and this also again you can use it for some other purpose for example let me just rotate it I can rotate it to say flip horizontal and I can just add it here you can see here again right mouse click edit point and I will reduce the size so you can see here like this you can use it for example now already the animation is there so it comes something like this and then again you have to duplicate this slide and just change this to number three and if you feel this is difficult to do then it's better to go and insert shapes directly you can add it directly here so once this is done we have to go to the transitions and you have to set the time limit for this as you can see in my slides i have already created till you can see 10 9 up to 1 and you have to just select all of this all these slides by holding the shift key from 10 to 1 and then you have to go to the transition tab and then you have to remove on mouse click and you have to set this timing for example you want this to be updated automatically after every one second so you can just come and just click here so it becomes one second here so here if i want to play let me just put the slideshow you can see 10 9 8 it come directly one by one or if you feel that this is a uh, slower you want uh, to make it more uh, faster in that case i will do i will select this one again select this till slide number 10 and i will make it all zero zero and if i play now you can see it's come very fast you can see here So depending on your requirement you can just adjust the 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 speed of the slides that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.